Okay, everybody, welcome back to Constitutional Debate Wednesdays. Today, um, we are going to take a look at, you're going to take a look at the Equal Rights Amendment, what that was, and can it still be passed today? Okay, so uh, there's some controversy going around with this. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, uh, give you the background information, then as always, I'll put you into breakout rooms, and then you guys can, um, can, um, debate with each other. And again, remember on classroom, I have that document for you that you need to, to do. Let me share my screen. Okay, so when you get on classroom, this is what everybody will need to do. Go to our class and then under classwork, under the Zoom meetings, there's, um, did I pass it? I did not. There it is. I'm sorry, Constitutional Debate Wednesday's files. Uh, January, I'm sorry, February 3rd is the one you want. And uh, you want to pull up the, the doc. Okay, I put my PowerPoint here as well. And then I've got a, a diagram for you to take a look at as well. So. Uh, before I get started, does anybody have any questions about the class, how things are going? No, everybody's good. Okay, uh, just for this month only, since it's Black History Month, I added an assignment every week um, concerning how the law has helped African Americans and how African Americans have, have pushed the law to include uh, more equality. Okay. So let's go to the Equal Rights Amendment and what it's about. Okay, so the question is, can the Equal Rights Amendment be added to the Constitution? Okay, um, here is, this is actually a proposed amendment to the Constitution, okay? And here's exactly, uh, well, the, the important part. Uh, there's more parts of the amendment, but this is the one that would actually have enforcement under law. It says, equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state on account of sex. Okay, so this is designed to get rid of sex discrimination within the law. Okay, what we'll find out in a minute is it fell three states short of ratification. 38 states are needed to ratify an amendment. 35 ratified this. Okay, so... Here's your, your little timeline on this. The ERA amendment, Equal Rights Amendment, was added to the, uh, I'm sorry, introduced into Congress in 1923. Okay, um, it was right after the 19th Amendment, which gave women the right to vote. Okay, finally in 1972, it was proposed by Congress. So two thirds of Congress voted to give the amendment to the states. And this was a second women's right movement in, in uh, the late 60s and early 70s. Okay, so they gave it to the states, and it had a seven-year limit on it. They put that in the, notice it didn't appear in, you know, the important part of the amendment. It was in the preamble to the amendment. It said, um, after seven years, this will expire. So once the seven years came up, Congress extended it for another uh, three years, so to 1982. And by the time 1982 hit around, uh, it was, they didn't have the, the, the right amount of states, okay? So they needed, they got 35, they needed 38. But here's what happened. Um, we are in the midst of another women's rights movement. You might've heard of the Me Too movement, okay? Which was uh, started by an actress who was talking about sexual assault and she started the hashtag Me Too which then caused a lot of women around the world to use that hashtag and talk about their, their stories of harassment and sex discrimination. So since that time, three states have ratified, even though the, in 1982, the, the time limit ran out, since that time, Illinois in 27, I'm sorry, Nevada in 2017, Illinois in 2018, and Virginia uh, last year, that's 38 states. Is that enough to ratify? Okay, but since 1982, Idaho, Kentucky, Nebraska, South Dakota, and Tennessee all rescinded their original ratifications. 
So once the time limit expired in 1982, those states was one, two, three, four, five states took back their ratification. Okay, and then uh, a few weeks ago, there was a joint resolution in the House and the Senate uh, introduced, so this hasn't passed, but it was introduced to remove the time limit. Okay, this had uh, support on uh, by Republicans and Democrats. So it was, an, it was a, it hasn't been passed. It was just, it's, it's been proposed that they take the 1982 um, time limit out. Okay, now the question is, is that, uh, can Congress do this? Can this, and should this be added to the Constitution? Okay, when you guys are in your groups, um, in your breakout rooms, this is, you're gonna to have to decide whether or not this can and should be passed, okay? So this, uh, what the amendment would do, uh, let's look at the arguments against it first, okay? And these are not my arguments. These are arguments that were made by uh, advocates for and against the amendments, amendment over the years, okay? First of all, it could undermine family structure. It could intrude on religious practice. And what they mean by that is if there's a religion uh, like the Catholic religion where men are only allowed to become priests, would the Equal Rights Amendment say, well, now you have to have women priests as well. Uh, people feel it could lead to the outlawing of separate men's and women's bathrooms. That if you're a man, you'll now all of a sudden find yourself urinating in front of a woman or vice versa. Um, it could get it would get rid of single sex college dormitories and other accommodations. Okay, other another argument. This is a practical one. The time limit ran out. You have to start over if you're going to do the amendment again. You got to start at zero states. Okay, uh, there are no longer 38 ratified states. It was down to 30 because those states rescinded their original ratification of the amendment. And this one is. Um, I think the most powerful one against it, it isn't needed because the 14th Amendment, since uh, the Equal Rights Amendment was proposed, uh, the 14th Amendment has been interpreted by courts to mean and to include uh, women. And recently, uh, just last year, it was uh, the 14th Amendment also applies to um, L the LBGTQ community as well. Okay. Now, arguments in favor of passing e the Equal Rights Amendment, okay? It's needed. Um, they, uh, those in favor of it say it would sweep away any discrimination in the workplace, help women achieve pay equality. For every dollar that men earn, I think women earn about 82 cents as well. So uh, men, men t tend to uh, earn more than women. Uh, it allows men to get paid paternity leave. So it wouldn't just impact women, it would impact men. It would say that there can't be any sexual disparities in the law. So right now, women get paid maternity leave. That's, that's a law that was passed by the federal government years ago. Well, now it could include men. It would guard against discrimination based on pregnancy and motherhood and sexual orientation. Um, next, The next unit we look at is... Um, the Supreme Court. And one of your assignments you're gonna have is looking at a recent Supreme Court case uh, and a decision by the Supreme Court and say, you know, what it was about and whether or not you agree with it. One of those decisions was uh, about a, a woman who worked for UPS and she was having trouble getting pregnant. Her and her husband were, were having trouble conceiving. So she went to a fertility clinic and uh, it worked and the doctor said, I don't want you lifting more than 20 pounds. And she said, well, I work for UPS. I'm a delivery person. I'm going to have to uh, lift more than 20 pounds. He goes, well, that's going to harm your pregnancy. So she brought this to her, her boss at UPS and said, this is what my doctor said. And her boss said, forget about it. Uh, you, you have to deliver, and she, uh, you know, do your, do your routes. And she said, I can't, I might lose my baby. She was, she was fired for that, okay? So the Equal Rights Amendment would, could, I should say, uh, get rid of that kind of discrimination. Okay, uh, those in favor say the deadline is the the time deadline uh, to 1982 is in the amendment's preamble, and that's an unenforceable part of the the amendment. Okay, and think about the the Constitution. There's a preamble to the Constitution. 
we the people in order to form a more perfect union. And honestly, that doesn't mean anything. There's no laws that come from the preamble to the Constitution. All the laws and act, actions of government come from everything starting in Article One. Okay, a, a good example is, uh, they say those in favor, is the 27th Amendment. The 27th Amendment was supposed to be, what became the 27th Amendment was supposed to be actually the 11th Amendment. It was supposed to be one of the Bill of Rights. Um, and it was just kind of forgotten about. And what the amendment does is says that if um, representatives and senators, they're, they're allowed to vote their own pay raises in, this amendment forces them to, if they vote a pay raise in, that pay raise takes effect after the next national election. So in other words, if Congress voted today to vote themselves in a pay raise, that pay raise wouldn't go into effect until after the 2022 um, congressional elections. Okay, that was, that was proposed in 1789, but it wasn't ratified until 1992. That's actually our newest amendment. Um, there was actually a, a grad student. He was a political science person, and he was uh, researching his, his, for his master's thesis. He found in the National Archives, he found that amendment and said, brought it to his professor and said, look, I think I found an amendment that was proposed by Congress, but never given to the states to ratify. And then what Congress did was they said, well, okay, he's right. Let's give it to the state. So what is that time limit? That's um, 200 something years. Um, so the, the point they're trying to make with this, with this point is that you know, time limits on amendments are meaningless. Um, and the other argument they make is Article 5 sets the standards for adding amendments to the Constitution. So Article 5 in the Constitution says, here's how you amend the Constitution. An amendment's preamble, or at least a proposed amendment's preamble, can't change the Constitution. Okay? All right. Any questions for me based on that information that you just saw? <clears throat> Excuse me. No? Okay. So here's what I'm going to have you do. I'm going to put you in... in um, three breakout rooms. And I want you to, or I'll make four. What I want you guys to do is go uh, do what, what we've done before, which is to um, bring up the document and then start discussing this with each other. Remember, come up with both sides, you know, the, the strongest arguments you think in favor or against um, adding the Equal Rights Amendment to the Constitution. Okay, let me do the breakout rooms. All right, there you go. And I'll give you um, roughly about 10 minutes to do this. <clears throat> 